What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the game Salmon, and welcome to Tyken Sons Lumber Co. So, a long time ago, way before Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott Coffin made a game called Chipper and Sons Lumber Co., which ended up being the inspiration to Five Nights at Freddy's. This is a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that, uh, well, I don't really know who Tyke is, but it has the same sort of feel as Chipper and Sons. It looks nice and pretty now, but apparently it's gonna get scary. If you guys are excited to see what this game is all about, please be sure to like and subscribe and go follow me on Twitch. Patrick? Who are you calling? Yeah! Me? Once upon a time, where life was simple, trees fell left and right, and the bridge's boards fell loose constantly within Seabill's presence, lived Chipper and his son, Tyke. Chipper was proud of his wood chopping offspring with the success of his company, Chipper and Sons Lumber Co. After the father tree was demolished by Tyke, the beavers lived in harmony in their happy cabin. Along with that, Tyke had success on his last date with a fellow beaver named Lisa. So much success that they had started their own family after a year of bonding. <laughs> okay. Time seemed to go by fast as the beavers chopped and built. Tyke and Lisa eventually brought their own beaver into the world, Mike. With this addition to the beaver family, Chipper was happy to have a new addition to the company soon enough. But, as Mike grew up, one day Chipper had gone missing. The remaining beavers quickly scrambled along the acres of land to find their missing beaver member and founder. I like that picture. After a few hours of searching, they had come to the conclusion that Chipper was gone. <laughs> the family still had hope and did not plan to presume him as dead. Tyke, being the fatherly figure his father once was, took the company into his arms and rebranded the company as Tyke and Sons Lumber Co. The story now goes on in the hands of Tyke and Mike to redefine the business under the brightest light. Well, little Mike, the day has come. No, not the beginning of summer or your... Oh, that wait, excuse me, that's still... That's still Tyke talking, excuse me. No, not the beginning of summer or your coming of age, but me throwing you out on your furry ear. That's what my father said to me when I was your age. Your grandpa Chipper was a great beaver. You can be proud to be his grandson. It's pretty sad that you were never able to talk to him. He disappeared when you were really young. No one knows where he went. Really weird if you ask me. Anyway, I'll give you full control over our little lumber company, and I want you to be a great successor. You will spend your days building robots and crafting even more things from the lumber you will be gathering. Thus, you will be let free from this prison called home. It is time for you to explore the world. I'm going to be watching you from a safe distance. I am a professional. And you can come right after me, if you work hard enough. But remember, no one ever beats the good old chipper. He truly was the best. Now get lost! It's your time to shine. We'll start as soon as this text box disappears. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I never actually played uh, Chipper and Sons Lumber Co., so I'm assuming this is going to start out nice and happy, uh, similar to that game. Actually, before you go, take this walkie-talkie. That way we can stay in contact, even if you are far away, as if that would ever happen. But for real, you should explore our little company first before I let you run off in the dangerous world. Promise me to make me a proud dad, will ya? Anyway, your first task will be to plant some trees right next to the house. There isn't much space, so don't build useless things that we don't need, okay? If you want to re-listen to what I just said, press the walkie-talkie button you'll see uh, very soon. Good luck, son. See you later. All right. Um, what? Just build some trees? Ooh. That's a lot of information. Bag, I'm assuming, is all the items. And I have old saws. Plans. What in the Sam Hill is that thing? I'm going to build that thing and it's going to come back to kill me. Don't think I don't know. This must be where I plant trees. Oh, hooray! I'm doing such a good job. Press W repeatedly to water faster. Oh, I see. So I just press W repeatedly. Oh, okay. There we go. Are we almost done? How much watering does this plant need? There we go. Okay, gotta... All right. Three more to go. Oh, 
Oh my god, that is a workout. I'm assuming I need to cut them down now. What's my task? Go on, chop that tree, and don't forget to make some lumber out of the wood. All right, so let's just see to chop. All right, okay, I didn't expect you to do that. I thought you were gonna actually use a real tool, not just your beaver teeth, but I guess you're a beaver and that makes sense. Okay, so make lumber. Uh, I'll take that lumber. Okay, and now I should have, yeah, so I have a little bit of lumber for this chippo mat and then almost enough for the frog shed. Need to get some red lumber though. Collect enough items and build the brand new Chippo Mat 1.0. Gotcha. A few moments later. Okay, I should have enough to build the Chippo Mat. So how do I actually build it? Wait, I think I have to switch over to crafts. Okay. Um How do I make you? What is that thing? What are you? Are you bad? Oh. Oh, 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 you respond negatively to water. All right, die, you fiend. Oh, I got a good rock. Hooray for me. Please don't leave 20% off everything. Okay, are, are we trying to keep people in here? These things actually look like mini cupcakes. Oh, there we go, build. Hooray, I've, I've built you. Do you, like, give me a steady supply of stuff? What's my next task? Oh, build another! They will get really useful later on. Okay. I'm gonna start collecting as much material as possible. I think overall, uh, it'll help me, uh, progress through the game faster. Mail? Wood report, the smell of freshly sawed wood is just arousing. Oh! Thank you, Chippo Matt. I'll take that. Oh! Th did my tree just evolve? It's not growing anymore. What what did I get out of this? What did I get? I got Oh, that's some rich wood. Okay. It's all coming together. One hour later. Build another Chippo Max. Hooray. Superb! You've mastered all your tasks for today. Press space when you're in front of the house. Okay. Well, moving on with the game. Um, here we go. What a rough day. Do you want to go to bed? Uh yes. All right, let me open the cabin for you. Since you're so hardworking now, we can switch places. Take your toys to the room upstairs. I will take the attic. Good night, son. Is, is this where bad things happen? Mm, later that night, bad things did happen. Zombie chipper, mechanical chipper, evil chippo mats. I did, I did just make two chippo mats. Oh God. Move the mouse to the left or right to run to a window, flicker the mouse downward to turn and run to the place behind you. Oh God, okay, okay. Very important, if you see anything, close the curtain till it's gone. Like, ooh, like that, okay. So right, right mouse button. Oh, I can go to the attic. Wait, isn't this where Tyke is supposed to be? My flashlight goes down really fast. Okay, Um, can I get more batteries? I saw that there were more batteries. There we go, there we go. All right, well, I got my tips. I guess we're ready to start the night. Go to bed when you are able to sleep again. And then sleep assurance at the top left-hand corner. Okay, well, oh, this is this is gonna be fun. How dare I build horrible animatronic chippo mats? <gasps> oh my God! And it's gone, and it's gone. Oh goodness gracious, okay. Well, I know what I'm dealing with now. I'm dealing with the animatronics that I built. My creations have turned on me. The game's simple enough though. If things can only attack me from the windows, I mean, that's basically the game. For all five nights, I'm assuming. I'm assuming there's five nights of this game. Oh, what? Ah, <laughs> squeaky noise. Uh-uh, uh-uh, nope, 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 not tonight. Every time I deal with an animatronic, my sleep assurance goes up. So, I'm, I'm not sure what that means. Like, do I just have to deal with eight animatronics total, like, every night, and then I'm good? Uh, let's just finish off our sleep assurance and then figure out what's up.
Oh, B to go to bed. I just heard someone knock on my door, so that's <laughs> probably wasn't a good time to go to bed. Wake up! You did it! You survived the night! The early bird catches the worm. Good morning, son! Are you ready for round two? As I promised you yesterday, you can now go to explore the island. I've opened up the gates for you. Don't worry, I won't let you off without a very important task, that's for sure. This is as important as teaching you how to walk on two legs, and that's pretty unusual for beavers. Your mother runs a coffee shop in the town nearby. I need a mix Chiago to go. Real quick. Here's a little pro tip for all you gamers out there. You can find hidden coins if you click on certain objects around you. Oh, and about the trees, plant as many as you can. Water isn't the only thing that makes them grow. No, no, patience is the key to success. That's all I wanted to say, and don't forget about the Mixchiato, Mixchiato. What am I, an errand boy now? What is that? Is that just the copy that I need to... Oh, I got a coin. I guess I'll just keep looking for red arrows that'll point me to coins that I don't know why I would need them. But let's go to the nearest town. Ooh, visitors. Powler is glad to have visitors. Powler is very lonely. Ooh, hi. Are you, are you good or bad? Huh, a beaver. Oh no! Are you here to destroy Powler's beautiful flowers? Don't lie to me, I know a plant killer when I see one. I'm going to avenge all the trees you have chopped down before. This will be your end game. Oh my god, it's a boss battle. Can I water you? I guess I just water you. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hey, Powler, easy. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh god. Oh, do I hit him now or do I click on him? Oh no, I am doing damage to him by hitting him with water. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, all right, here we go. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. How many hits are you gonna take to go down? So that's hit number two, so I mean, maybe the general rule of Nintendo 3 is that it's gonna take three hits. Don't hit me with your, oh, come on. That's not even fair. There we go, there we go, there we go. Is this it, is this it? Number three, hit number three. Ah, yes, okay, whoo. One life left. It's dangerous going to get coffee.